So what's the reality? Can your team mess up your life? Can your team mess up your life? Or your manager, your PR person? But that's just one of the topics that this is going to like bring us to. But Sweetie had a major moment or opportunity with DJ Vlad to do an interview. Mm-hmm. But DJ Vlad said, somebody on her team said, nah. Now, I got my opinion about this. I want to see what your opinion is. But let's just break down exactly what happened. So we're just going to straight up read this Vlad, DJ Vlad. Y'all know who he is, Vlad TV, millions of subscribers. Definitely covers the music and hip-hop community especially. And he said, on Thursday, I tweeted about Sweetie turning down a Vlad TV interview and how I felt her mixtape sales would have been higher if she had done it. That tweet went viral. Sweetie publicly responded to my tweet and cleared up a few things. So let me tell the whole story with receipts. Let's get into it. So here's his tweet. It says, if Sweetie did a Vlad TV interview, she would have easily done 10x her first week sales, which was 2000 copies at her level. That is disappointing. We actually reached out through one of our people and were told she won't do Vlad. Her loss. That's what Vlad tweeted. All right. And then Tweety. Oh, actually, let me finish the rest of what Vlad said. When when I was told Sweetie didn't want to do the interview with us, which originated from her label, Warner Brothers, publicist Aisha White, I assumed that this was Sweetie's choice. But Sweetie replied and said she was a big fan of Vlad TV and denied that she even knew about the request. Here's Sweetie's tweet. Actually, I've been a big fan and screen recorded one of my favorite episodes. Here's one of them. Dates on the top. So if anyone reached out, quote unquote, it wasn't me or my team. BJ Vlad, happy Thanksgiving. All right. Vlad says, sweetie turned it down. Sweetie said it wasn't me. That was my team. Let's let's go deeper into this. <sighs> First of all, that's a wild claim. A 10X? 10X. That's crazy. 10X is the claim. <laughs> 10x is the claim. So let, yeah, let's just stop right there for before you even finish <laughs> this this last thing. All right. 10x. Yeah. Off of an interview with you. That's what I'm saying. That's a wild claim, bro. That's to a me, wild claim. To me, that's full of shit right there. Yeah, maybe, maybe three to five. You know, you patting yourself on the back right yeah. there. You know what I mean? That that's full of shit. But I actually got some other thoughts on that. I want to. I want to. I want to finish this before we. (laughs) (laughs) Let me take a quick second to say, if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Let's let's do this last bit. So when the, so we then find out Aisha White, Warner Brothers Senior VP of Publicity, doesn't like Vlad and would never have any Warner Brothers artist interview with us. These decisions were being made by Aisha without ever asking Saweetie or the other Warner Brother artist. All right. Cool. So apparently somebody on Warner Brothers has beef with Vlad. Now, there's been later receipts that have come out that seem to dispute even a direct beef with that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to go spend time like actually going through those like word for word. But she um, one of the things that the PR person said was. Well, they offer like 10. No, off, no, Vlad said you could do the interview for 10 grand, right? Yeah, he was going to pay Sweetie 10K for it. He was going to pay her 10K. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were asking 10K. No, no, yeah. It. He was okay, saying he, he was going to pay her. Yeah, pay her. Okay, okay. So, by the way, that goes both ways. Y'all should know about these outlets. Many of them, if you're in the right position, actually will pay you for an interview yeah. if you're a good op. But then also, many of them, you have to get paid to get on. And so, some of these interviews you see with people are actually them paying to get on that platform. Yeah. You know, but let's get back to that 10x. All right. <laughs> and then we'll get to the team. No matter of fact, the team, because we talked about a team straight up. 
can mess up your opportunities. In the same way we talked about, yeah. I think just last episode, literally people won't do business with you because of your team members. <laughs> Some people on your team won't do business with somebody and have beef with somebody that you don't even have beef with. And you might even disagree with the beef if you actually knew the whole story. But point is, it's like, yo, you're messing up the money. You're messing up my opportunities for some personal shit with you. But this is business and you shouldn't be personalizing things in regard to me and making me miss my train just off of some personal stuff to you. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a real thing that's happening with these teams where I'm like, dang, I bet the artist doesn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> the way this manager is like turning this down. Like if they knew about this, they'd be all down for it. Especially some of the things kind of like. And I've even not, we haven't experienced this to this extent, but you know how Sweetie was like, I'm a fan. I got screen recordings, right? It'll be stuff like, hey, man, I seen this dude in the comments and everything and da da da, like, or we've talked or whatever. But then all of a sudden you're talking to the manager and it's like completely flips. Yeah, no, they're not really feeling it. Yeah, they're no, not what? really feeling it. It's like, no, I think, I think it's you. And you're trying <laughs> to convince them that that isn't the way to go with the campaign or whatever little detail it yeah. is, right? You know, um, matter of fact, that artist that, so we had one artist and the artist did not, the artist was basically ready to blow up. She had a decent following, good music, and she was down for the things we pitched for, pitched uh, in the campaign or some of the things we talked about. But talking to this artist and the manager and two other people are on a call i had the first call with him so you weren't you weren't there for that oh, but i, I remember oh, telling you about it <laughs> i was like yo i don't think this is gonna go because the manager has a completely different agenda than the artist uh, I, I was like this yeah. dude okay. yeah. he don't make his money in this space if you hear his background he's just worried about basic like publishing saying yeah. like that's where he comes from that's how he knows how to cap he has the artist so he can cap in that space yeah she wants to be a pop star he don't care about the pop star shit i want to cap in this space can i get you in these rooms can i get you in these rooms <laughs> can i get you writing da 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 yeah. having that conflict is an issue you need to understand not only the ability of base that your manager has a lot of people, artists get in agreements just because their manager is connected and and they've made good money in these spaces and they might even get you an op in that space oh if i if i get you some syncs and songwriter opportunities because i come from that easy like you might have that connection because you saw some game from that art uh, manager beforehand now it's like oh yeah let me let them run the, my full business maybe if y'all aren't the, no not maybe if y'all aren't the same page about the full thing though then like that's not going to work out. So I don't know all of the, the the sweet story, but one, make sure that you and your manager are on the same page. It doesn't mean just because he has sync abilities and all that stuff that he should be your manager, but it also doesn't mean he shouldn't. If the full vision is the same, it's like, oh yeah, I, I got this one area that I've done well in and now I need to go gain these other areas or I got resources that I now need to start flipping these other areas. That's cool. But if I just want to stay in that bag and I don't want to get out of my bag, that might be a problem unless you just want to be in that bag and cap. So there's that, right? The team truly can limit what you do. But here's the problem when it comes to that the 10x issue to me. How is he going to get it to go up 10x? Man, I'm guessing he's just saying like the publicity from it. But I also don't see his audience fucking with Sweetie like that. That's what makes me not believe it. His audience don't like Sweetie. He has enough of an audience and name Rec and brand recognition to actually get recognition from anybody in the hip hop community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I think he could do a Megan interview. He could do a he could do interview with any women in the hip hop, and still get a lot of views from it because one, he's really good at understanding how to play it and the, the questions asked and and you know the team with the titles. He's going to get a, a certain level of visibility anyway. Yeah, just because of the algorithm and people checking his stuff out. And third, he's also entered in a good job of like interviewing a lot of different people, different spaces. So you might not see him interview a lot of female hip hop artists, but he's done quite a, f a few actresses. Right. So I might not, I'm, I might like that actress and this, this, this female rapper, even though I don't ever see female rappers. So it's like nice mm -hmm. to see him there. So there's a legitimate argument that he has value to bring. Right. But how would he actually boost her streams? 
to the people at the front of the interview going to uh, that, that's why I, I was like 10x as well maybe two to three maybe five max this Ten? is what i think bro this is what i think this is vlad we know the we know what the fuck tom vlad is on he's gonna add some quavo shit uh Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. He's going to really dig into that space. Yeah. It's no way he's going to avoid that because that's just Vlad. And also, from his perspective and understanding that business model, shit, why wouldn't I? Yeah. I'm going to, right? So he's going to add some shit like that. And then, you know, I actually never listened to the song, but I know that they say she has some bars for Quavo in, a, you know, in her recent song or whatever. So then bringing more visibility to that moment and maybe try to find other al- moments in the album. So then you're going to have people going to listen just for that. At the most, that's what he could do. Her just being on a platform and not talking about any of that stuff, it definitely would not make that that kind of pop. Yeah, but his audience is, would not like her. <laughs> she they is not, not for his audience. They, bro. She is not for his audience. Not at all, right? Yeah. They, they would def- A lot of them would tear her up. So I think there's a lot of great arguments from a career standpoint why she shouldn't do it. Yeah. Right, um, but but she said she was down to do it. But she so she didn't even feel that way. She yeah. would be down to do it. Yeah. <sighs> so it could be an instance of the, some... the the team taking like Vlad's reputation into consideration. You know, he he has a pretty yes. salacious reputation. Yes. For starting shit right, but then it's like she already put the narrative out there, so something got started from that. It's like y'all already kicked it up, kicked off the rollout with that. So you can't that can't be the thing that you're afraid of happening. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Cause if you do it, you might as well lean into it. Le- do yeah. it. If you put it out there, right. bro, you might as well take it as far as it can go. As far as it if can go. You were scared to take it that far, you should have never put the information right. out there. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then you should watch the full episode of No Labels Necessary that it came from and it's gonna really blow your mind. Check this Clip right here.